Club in the heart of the Midwest. It's Night Shift with Kevin Ferguson. All right, so this is what we're gonna do to make sure. While these two cameras are shooting the show, no one's gonna be shooting reality, correct? Yeah, unless we can have Denny man that camera follow you during the show. But we need two cameras on the show, correct? All right, so you'll be on one. Denny will be on the other. Jeanette will have her camera follow on the reality. Or Denny, one of the two. Okay, yeah, let's just decide which me. one it is. I think Denny should follow you with Jeanette's camera. Okay. And Jeanette and I will see is that all right show. with you, Jeanette? Or yeah. which would you Jeanette rather do? I trust. Camera. I trust. I trust Denny. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to make sure we're ready to go at 7:30. We don't have a band, so we'll have to add the music in it in post. Yeah, that, I think and then we'll next week when we shoot, we'll do that if we if we see all this stuff works. Um, are you sure? Now let me ask you a question because our lounge is going to get really, really full. We're sold out the second show. Are you sure that tonight we might not want Denny just to try to do the interviews during the first show like we normally do, and I'll just ask the question slower and just go back and forth? I mean, I would rather wait and do it myself. I mean, it would look a lot better. We'd have to, well, all right, we'll have to wait until we tear down and that show gets started. Yeah. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. Step one, please proceed the show indoors. Let the pound the steps wait to be seated. Thank you very much and enjoy the show. Yeah. Okay, so he's not going to start. Are you up with me? So we wait? Yeah, we'll take a break, make sure we got okay. charge batteries and everything. Okay. Ready to roll. And the lights are all up, so we're okay out there. All right. Okay. Well, um, bat the straight on shot. Where, where, where the is the tripod? We just got the be tripod, and we're just going to use that. Okay. That's all we need. All right. Do we want to rope that off, or do I just need to show Zach where it's? Maybe someone will get the idea. We'll see how long it takes for someone to walk through it. Well, you're going to have your hands full no matter what. Don't talk to anybody, just shoot. If somebody asks you a question, just you're an invisible because you're going to have your hands full tonight. Gotcha. We'll see how this works. You got it. Uh, Mike Moses just called, said that Misty can't make it. I think Tony's going to be here. Joe King's going to be here. Yeah. Pete LaFuchia's going to be here. So whoever's the floor director, they have to be right on top of it because Pete's going to only be able to do three minutes. Someone's going to have to watch me. I can only do six or seven minutes. So that includes the guest announcer and the monologue. So i got to make sure that my floor director is giving me a count so I know exactly where I'm at. Because if I'm like at five minutes still talking to the guest announcer, we're not, just not going to have time to do anything else. Yeah. If, if the feature goes too long, we're in trouble. The main thing is we got to get to the headliner. And, you know, he promised me, he's X-rated, he's double X-rated, so. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah, chances are he hasn't gotten cleaner, but we'll see. All right, well, uh, we'll do a quick meeting when everybody gets here, but we have to be up and ready to go. I, I told Zach he's introducing Joe King at 7.30. Joe's got three minutes, we can't let him ramble. Yeah. If he starts around, just somebody go, cut. We don't even almost need that. We just need the crowd participation type stuff. Yeah. I mean, we don't need real rules. Quick, real quick. Just yeah. crowd participation is about all we need. All right. Well, let's get everything set up. See how it goes. Right. See, this yeah. will be different. Hey, how you hey, doing? Good. Pretty good. First show of 2015. Here yeah, we go. Uh -huh. Hi, Hi, Joe. Hi, Danny. How are you, buddy? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year after New Year. Be late. See you again. Yeah. Yeah. We need to be done at 9, 9 or 5 because we're sold out to the show. So, your open should be three to four minutes. Just, we'll make it quick. We'll have to introduce Pete. Then a couple minutes to remind them how to do it, the applause and everything, start the show. Well, we don't have a band, so we yeah. don't, we, we don't yeah. have those that time. So uh, uh, the thing is, I'd, I'd like you to you know, count me like this. So I know how many minutes I am. So if I know if I'm going to do jokes or I'm going to bail after the guest announcement. You mean while you're on stage doing yeah. your monologue? Yeah, I'll just watch. Cause I'll Even to the GA? Yeah. Uh, in fact, if, if, if I, you know, depending on how far we get, 
we can't go over, so this will be, tonight's going to be a nice test run for us. That's all it's going to be is a test okay. run. Uh, we got some bad news. The show was canceled tonight. Did they give you, did you find out that? No one called. All? No one told you? No. Nope. Did I get them? No. I think you got it. I got you, did no. I? No. I I'm gonna I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay and drink anyway. <laughs> I'm drinking one way or the other. So. <laughs> enjoy, this, enjoy this show, folks. Thanks. Alright. Hello, Kevin. Hey Kevin, I'm Spencer. I'm working here as a Spencer. Spencer. Cool. Yeah. Spencer, first name, right? Uh, Spencer's my first name. We're shooting the TV name. show tonight, so okay. this is Steve, our, hey, Steve. our producer. Hi, nice, to nice to meet you. And he'll get some questions that he'll want me to ask you in the interview. Okay. In your yeah. intro. And the main thing is he'll tell you about what to do. We okay. want you to do about, so you know, about 20 minutes. What was the last time? Um, she said she said she was under Gerber. Okay. Under Gerber? Yeah, 13. So many comedians are left handed. Yeah, well, we're the best people. I mean, there's more presidents that are left-handed, there's more comedians, more great musicians. Granted, you are more likely to trip over a coffee table, crack your head open and die, but there's a trade-off in all things. You know, I was hoping that we'd be able to get something that was usable and not just us being ignorant. I can focus now, because I can see. But I can see that... Okay, this is a good shot. That is not going to work out. Tonight, Kevin's guests are comedians Steve Brewer and Spencer Dobson, plus special musical guests, The No Shows. Now, put your hands together for Kevin Ferguson! I'll just sit, this is for me. <laughs> Actually, I was the one who was supposed to sit. Am I supposed to sit in your lap then, Kevin? <laughs> Shut these cameras off now. <laughs> Night shift is being brought to you in part by Evolve Spa for the you you've always wanted to be, Glenbrook Dodge. Check out all the Dodge boys at glenbrookdodge.com. Snickers Comedy Bar, where the laughs are always on us, and Hawthorne Suites by Wyndham in Fort Wayne. It's less like checking in and more like moving in. We're the places you call home when you're away from home. 12 brands, more hotels than anyone else in the world. Like Hawthorne Suites by Wyndham, where an extended stay meets extended comfort. Save 15% at Hawthorne and earn bonus points when you book at WyndhamRewards.com. Haven't filed your taxes? Haven't paid your taxes? Being audited by the IRS or Indiana Department of Revenue? Would you like to stop the threatening letters and phone calls? Tax Matters Solutions is an experienced local CPA firm. We've helped hundreds of people just like you. We specialize in solving tax problems. Let our CPAs and enrolled agents stand between you and the IRS. Call 489-0818 for a free consultation or visit us online at taxmatterssolutions.com. Fort Wayne is learning fast that the best place for quality Italian dining is Ziano's. $34.99 for a half pan of lasagna and 15 breadsticks. Call now. It's ready in only 45 minutes. Now with three locations, Covington, DuPont, and Maysville Road. See you at Ziano's. Hi, folks. Your best deal is a Dodge Boy deal, especially during our award season event. Tell us about it, Ryan. That's right, Matt. Check out the best deal on a brand new Chrysler 200S, the hottest selling sedan for just $175 down and $175 a month. That's awesome. Casey, what do you have? Matt, it's minivan season. Come check out the 2015 Chrysler Town & Country Touring, loaded with standard features like leather and DVD for only $3.59 per month. I like it. It's going to be the most fun you've ever had purchasing a vehicle. I guarantee it. So come see us on the giant American flag during our award season event or jump online at Clumbertage.com. for a band. If there's anybody out there that wants to be on the show, we're looking for a band. Also, our, our lovely guest announcer. Didn't she do a nice job? She's uh... I'm so glad you guys came out here tonight because I, you know, you're the people who don't give a crap about Indiana basketball. That's wonderful. <laughs> what, what, tell me your name. You did a great job. My name is Devin. Devin? Yes. Devin. Are, are you a Fort Wayne girl, Devin? I was born and raised in Butler, Indiana. Miss Butler, 1999, and I now reside in Garrett. Do you know what happened? Is a few people, a few people clapped and thought that was great, and a few girls just bitch. Uh, so you're a Miss Butler. I 
was. Oh, yes. that's, that's wonderful. And then, and then you moved from Butler to Fort Wayne. Well, Garrett, I work at Fort Wayne. Oh, that's just as good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure the Garrett people are pissed off at you too now. That's Probably. All right. Don't worry about it, Devin. You're that's here with my us. goal in life, Kevin. So, so, <laughs> so, what do you do for a living, Devin? I'm a nurse. You're a nurse? Uh, you, want, you, want, you want to tell us where you're a nurse at? Well, I used to be an ICU nurse, and now I'm a nurse informaticist. So, I pretty much tell doctors how to use their documentation in surgery and keep them in line. I can tell why you're looking at people. You're bossy a little bit, is what, I, is, is what I'm thinking here, Deb. How long have you done that? That sounds like a, a tough, kind of a tough I've job. been doing that for about four years. Oh, good for you. Good for you. What do you, what do, you do to, uh, that's probably stressful, though, isn't it? It's a little stressful, yes. What, what, now, what, do you, what, what does Devin do to, to, like, well, let me ask you this. Are you married? I used to, I'm happily divorced. <laughs> What did the bastard do to you, Devin? We want to let's... He cheated on me and he didn't want to work. <laughs> we're we're kind of sliding into the Jerry Springer show right here. Right? <laughs> have, you, have you noticed that? So, but, so uh, you're out of that. You, you, you're dating somebody now? Yes, I have a boyfriend. Yeah? And where'd you meet him at? On Match.com. <laughs> Really? <laughs> How many people did you go through before you found the winner? Too many to count. See, what, 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 like, what was the worst one? What was the one that the person lied the most about himself? Oh my goodness. I got so many messages that were just, you want to make out? I didn't need to pay for that. So, no. No. You didn't pay to make out or you didn't pay no. for the thing? I paid to have somebody buy my dinner at least once a month so I could pay for my membership. <laughs> see, now some of you girls are going, see, she's not such a bitch. I kind of like her now. I kind of like her now. So, so what do you do to blow off steam? Well, I used to be, um, I'm a retired Fort Wayne Derby girl. Oh, really? Woo! That's great. Good for you. Yeah, good for you. Now, one of, one of our, our ex-managers used to be a Derby girl. And they come in here sometimes, they go out, they, she had great stories. What, what, what's the best story, what did you do that's the wildest thing with the Derby girls? Because when they go out, they, they kind of throw down and have a good time. What? Okay, well, on the track, I was being good, but my Derby sister here and I, we like to go to the bars after practice, because you know, you get hit, we need to go out and drink, so we're not feeling it the next day, you know? Sure. Our bruises, you know, all that fun stuff. I know all about it. Yeah, see? <laughs> You've been there, Kevin. We're good. So we were actually at the bar afterwards, and um, I used to be a cheerleader in high school. You're shocking. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we were joking about um, flexibility, and I put my leg over my head. Tanya snapped a picture. I bet so. <laughs> yes. So then the joke was always, never is Rob supposed to ask Tanya to do anything that I can do. <laughs> Are you using this chair? Yes. <laughs> How long ago did you do that, Devin? Oh my gosh, before my knee injury. <laughs> so you can't do it now? I don't know. Well, let's give it a shot, what do you say? I'll just sit, this is for me. <laughs> Shut these cameras off now. Is, no, 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 go ahead. I just want to see it. Can you do it? Huh? Keep it going for Devin, everybody. We got a good show for you. We'll be back after this. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I'm so sorry. Night Shift is brought to you by Ziano's Italian Eatery, now with three great locations to serve you. And tax matters because your tax matters. Trust tax. Where are the places you call home when you're away from home? 12 brands, more hotels than anyone else in the world. Like Hawthorne Suites by Wyndham, where an extended stay meets extended comfort. Save 15% at Hawthorne and earn bonus points when you book at WyndhamRewards.com. 
Evolve Spa on Illinois Road next to Acura and Subaru offers massage, facials, hair, nails, and makeup. Evolve Spa, 436-1717 or EvolveSpa.net. Everyone dreams of beautiful cabinets for their home. At Madison Cabinets, you'll get real handcrafted custom cabinets made by family members of a business that's been making cabinets for over three generations. From picking out the wooden stain right down to final installation, Madison Cabinets can guarantee you'll get the cabinets you've always dreamed of. Don't settle for anything less for your home than custom cabinets by Madison Cabinets. Call us today for a free estimate or visit us at our website. At Madison Cabinets, the fine quality cabinets made by fine quality people is more than just a slogan. It's our family's legacy. We are Madison Cabinets. Stop the press. Classic Graphics wants to slice your printing costs. Bring in any competitor's quote and we will beat it. Plus, we'll deliver it to your door at no charge. Call now for a free quote. Classic Graphics, locally owned and operated since 1965. Granite Ridge Builders has hundreds of floor plans to choose from, all of which you can custom design to accommodate your personal needs. But what if you have your own plan or ideas? That's okay. Our three professional on-site draftsmen are ready to take your ideas and turn them into a reality. Just give us a call or shoot us an email. We look forward to meeting with you to custom design your next dream home. How can you best protect your life and property? Get a monitored security system from Certified Alarm. We've been serving Fort Wayne for nearly 90 years. We're locally owned and located downtown. When an alarm is triggered, the signal goes to our offices and then straight to the police or fire department. It's not routed out of town, out of state, or out of the country. We live and work here, just like you, and our goal is to protect our community. We'll design the right system to meet your needs, so protect your home or business with a local company. Call Certified Alarm today for a free consultation and quote. Give it up for the no-shows over here doing a great job entertaining you. Our first guest tonight, his uh, last CD was chosen by, uh, as Hot Pit by Stage Time Magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Very first time in Fort Wayne, Spencer Dobson. That's fun, man. Get to the thing for God's sakes. Kevin and the girl with the leg and the head, let's hear it for them. That was awesome. It's nice to be here, Fort Wayne. Thank you for having me. I shaved for you guys. You're welcome. How long have you been doing this? I started in the 90s. I moved, uh, I did Aspen in 2000. I moved to Los Angeles. Everything went crazy. Uh, I, now, where were you born? I mean, where I was born raised? in North Dakota. I moved to Los Angeles from Minneapolis. And people in LA get that. They've heard of Los Angeles. We have a giant mall, we have the Vikings, <laughs> we have the Twins, we have a wrestler for a governor. But I was born in North Dakota. People in LA don't know what that is. They're not sure if that's in America. They're not sure if that's a state. They think possibly that's where Smurfs are from. <laughs> and it's because we're a cold, flat, boring state. We know it, Kevin. You can call the Travel Bureau. It's one guy, he's in a shack doing shots. Hi, I'm from Fort Wayne. I want to go on vacation in North Dakota. What could you tell me about it? Oh, Jesus Christ, it's cold. It's flat, it's boring. You're going to stay inside, drink all the time, and you're going to get somebody you don't like pregnant. That's how I got here, Kevin. You got somebody pregnant? No, I... Oh, okay, just... Now... How long did you live in L.A. though? I lived in L.A. for about seven years. And now you're back in... I moved back to the Midwest to look after my family. They got Good old, they needed help opening jars, Good stuff like you. that. People got sick. L.A. is a tough place to live. Though. L.A. is crazy. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And, and a lot of crazy stuff happened for me personally while I was there to compound it. You need to go to L.A. ready for battle, and I went out... What was your biggest surprise when you went out there, though? I mean... Oh, that I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> a raging, what? raging alcoholic. Who is going to drink himself to death if he doesn't? That's water. Okay, it's okay, fine. Kevin. All right, no. I dated a girl with five kids. Five kids. Five kids. And I'm saying kegels. I don't know. I'm saying. Because you would think after five kids, the last kid would just walk out. Hey, I'm being born. No, but it was. Here's the first part she got a tattoo on her back of each of her kids, and that's sweet, right? And they were really nice tattoos. One of them was a little like, bah! But for the, <laughs> for the most part, they were really nice tattoos. But here's the thing, I like to make love to women, and sometimes they get turned around. I don't want to get mean-mugged. <laughs> 
Oh, you're rude. So are you, are you married or single? Or I'm like? seeing somebody right now. Yeah. yeah I've, got, I've had a girlfriend for, we just started living together a couple of months ago. She's amazing. Uh, we met online. She's not a Russian hooker. She's just a wonderful person. <laughs> now, how long uh, did you date her before she saw you stand up? Uh, about a month. But she did see me online first, and she sent okay. me pictures. She sent videos to her mom online, and I pat I've not met her mom, but her mom already thinks I'm funny. So as a comic, that means I'm kind of in. My friends are starting to have kids, and that's horrifying because I know them, right? And it's not the first round of friends that starts when you're like 13 <laughs> and goes to about 24 where they tell you they're having a kid. You go, oh, that's great. And you're, you're, oh, you're keeping it. Oh, good for you. Well, that's fun. Good choice. And then they're like 25 to 35. They have a kid and you go, oh, that's awesome. Enjoy yourself. My friends are in the last group. We're the 35 and up where they go, we feel that we have found a place emotionally, financially, and spiritually where we can raise a child. Oh, shut up. I hate you. I'm going to bite your face. Just stop it. <laughs> And it's scary, right? Because you know them. You've partied with them. You know what they're like. So when you tell them you're ha then they tell you you're having a baby, you're like, that's great. But what you're thinking is, do babies even like cocaine? <laughs> now, when you were growing up, what did you think you might be? Well, uh, what were you like? You look like you. Now, I, I just met you tonight. Right. And as soon as you walked out, I go, I bet you that guy was a football player in high school. I wasn't. I look like a jock. You First do. Of all, I was born in a town of 29 people, and oh, I, I, I'm the youngest brother of a really mean brother. So I, I was uh, hit a lot for being young. Uh, and, and then we just, you know, you played with a dog, and there wasn't any sports or anything like that, so you just hung out. No, in high school, uh, I was what was known as a Hessian. Or here they call it a burnout, which means I had really long oh, hair. Okay. And if you knew how, like if you threw a football at me, it would hit me in the head. But if you wanted to know how to make a pot pipe out of an apple, I could help you with that. If you needed to know what bathroom to smoke a cigarette in between fifth and sixth periods, I totally have that information for you. And people would always ask her, like, who were the fathers? And it was one dude. They were married, and then he got divorced. You can't get divorced after five. You started a volleyball team. You're in. <laughs> what do your parents think, though? Do they come out and watch? I mean, did they oh, my mom to... loved it. Yeah, and my dad had a huge comedy record collection when I was a kid. You know, I used to listen to comedy albums as bedtime stories. Some of the people I listened to have since had fallen on rough times publicly, and we will not mention their name. But uh, they used to be very lovely people uh, before we knew more about now, see, them. See, my mom uh, also. Uh, she's passed, and mm -hmm. and. But, but were you a little different on stage when mom was in the audience? Uh, you know what? A lot of my act is based on us sitting around the table chewing the fat. My mom had a great sense of humor. She was a funny person. She was a hairstylist, so we hung out with hairstylists. They were body, loud, laughy people. You know, when you get back home around her mom, then they pretend they're uptight. But, I've, <laughs> but neither of them are. It's a ridiculous thing. In fact, my act... I have hooked up at least three relatives I know that went to first dates at my show, and that's how they like, and then they got married within like a year or two. So I create, that's right, that's I create love. That's, that, that's what I'm telling you. I've never heard anybody say that before. But it's true. Well, you know, and John Cleese wrote a book about it, that when people are laughing, their guard comes down. Sure. And so you, sure. you are more likely to bond with somebody. And in fact, I, I worked with this waitress. I used to work at a restaurant, and this waitress comes in and said, I just saw your show. I was on a first date. I thought this was the greatest guy in the world. The next night we went out to something not funny. You guys are awesome. He's a dud. So that guy <laughs> owes me. I got that guy hooked up. Well, you've got, you got a, a, a great stage presence. Thank and you very, very much. you're very funny. Thank you. And I'm just really ticked off. It's taking a long time to get here. Well, life, uh, life is what it is, man, but you got to keep moving forward, right? Thank Thanks you for, for having me, Kevin. It's a pleasure to be uh, here. Thank you. Look, if you made it to 30 and you don't know the basics of how a penis works, Google it. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to be a porn genius or anything. I'm saying that's not a thing. I don't know if you were homeschooled. I don't know if you have a bad uncle. But it's nice of you to try. I feel like an ass for explaining it to you, quite frankly. My name is Spencer Dobson. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Keep it going for Spencer. We'll be back after this. 
Don't go anywhere. Night Shift is being brought to you in part by Granite Ridge Builders. Check them out. All the floor plans at GraniteRidgeBuilders.com. Madison Cabinets, quality cabinets made by quality people. And Tax Matters, because your taxes matter, trust Tax Matters. We're the places you call home when you're away from home. 12 brands, more hotels than anyone else in the world. Like Hawthorne Suites by Wyndham, where an extended stay meets extended comfort. Save 15% at Hawthorne and earn bonus points when you book at WyndhamRewards.com. Haven't filed your taxes? Haven't paid your taxes? Being audited by the IRS or Indiana Department of Revenue? Would you like to stop the threatening letters and phone calls? Tax Matters Solutions is an experienced local CPA firm. We've helped hundreds of people just like you. We specialize in solving tax problems. Let our CPAs and enrolled agents stand between you and the IRS. Call 489-0818 for a free consultation or visit us online at taxmatterssolutions.com. Solution Skin Care is a revolutionary skin care facility where anti-aging formulas are designed specifically for each individual. Solution's customized approach to total skin care features non-surgical solutions, combination therapies, Botox and fillers, and personally designed skin care. Start your skin care journey today at Solution Skin Care. Now with locations in Decatur and Fort Wayne. Online at SolutionSkinCareCenter.com or call 260-728-4020. Fort Wayne is learning fast that the best place for quality Italian dining is Ziano's. $34.99 for a half pan of lasagna and 15 breadsticks. Call now. It's ready in only 45 minutes. Now with three locations, Covington, DuPont, and Maysville Road. See you at Ziano's. Oh, I love sneakers. Awesome. I think it's great. This is tons of laughs. It's great. Yeah, we had a great time. Oh, we love sneakers, Tony, bud. Oh, I love Snickers. I'm always here. We love it. Oh, I think it's great. It's the best thing to happen for Wayne. It's hilarious. Oh, it was wonderful. My face hurts. We had a lot of fun. I've been to a lot of comedy places in the country, and Snickers has to be probably one of the best. Seriously, Snickers? Best place in Fort Wayne to go. Come out to Snickers. It's where it's at. Everybody knows Snickers. Snickers. Out of town guests of Nice Shifts at the Hawthorne Suites by Wyndham, it's less like checking in and more like moving in. Jeanette will be doing guest announcer. Ah. You will be doing guest announcer. I hate that. Okay. And you will be doing camera one. So when we'll do camera camera one, we'll be doing guest announcer. Yeah. <laughs> and when she leaves, they'll, you'll come down and you'll set your tripod on the table. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Is the table and down then, on the floor? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to be up when, there. And then you'll have. Back up for reality for guest Kevin. crazy stuff and you follow Kevin. To right. out. And then Perfect. me and Jeanette will shoot the show. You got it. Okay. You know, I have not been focusing this at all. You need to focus because <laughs> it's, otherwise it's out of focus. I can't see it.